So everything's starting to defrost. But still got some ice up here. It's been a few days and I've got a few water leaks. You can see some water in that corner over there. That's probably coming from where I've fixed this cab scene because I haven't sealed it up yet. Um, but I've got some water in that corner. Looks like it ran down from up there. It looks a little damp right there in that corner. Um, I guess that's wet in there. It's hard to tell. It might be just be that primer stuff. Um, so I gotta figure out where that's coming from. But worse than that. Worse than that. Quite a bit of water right there in that. And it looks like some of it could have come from in there, but because it's dripping now, but all that is wet right there. So I don't know if that ran down somewhere. I guess I need to see if that padding is wet further up. It may have all dripped from here. That could easily run. All right, phone call interrupted. It was the wrong number. So maybe that is coming from right there. I don't know. I don't really know where else it would come from if it was running down that. Let me pull the hood. Train. Maybe two hands. Good thing's not attached to anything, so you gotta hold it and pull it. Everything's kind of defrosting. I don't know it. Could be coming. Could be coming from anywhere. Well, I think the best thing to do is just uh, get that kick panel sealed up and just keep an eye on it. If it rains, I'll just have to pull the carpet back and see if it got wet. So. I don't know. That uh, you, you kind of see in there. It looks. It all looks good. The seam sealer looks good. I don't see any rust. Um, I don't think it would come from in there. Of course, I can't see the other side. I don't know. May spray some undercoating down in there. I don't know. I'm just going to assume that it's coming from that. I know it is leaking from that hole, that vent where the kick panel goes. So I know the water's coming in from there. It's just if that's where all the water's coming from. I don't know. So we'll just start by sealing that. And on this 
one. See, I, I can't tell if that's wet. It doesn't feel wet. It looks wet, but it doesn't feel wet. And I think it's just that either it's that primer or it's frozen water. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell if it's ice or... Hmm. Well... See, that doesn't feel like ice right there, but it looks wet. Now that's water, but that dripped from when I had the door open. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. So here's what we got. It's been primered with the rusty metal primer, and on top of that I put the undercoat. Into the back wall, so that it's. Well, I say I keep saying undercoat, but it's. Uh, it is undercoat, but it's rubberized undercoat. I use about three and a half cans, uh, one and a half cans of this stuff, and then one and a half cans of this stuff. I kind of think they're the same thing, just different label. This is three five zero three five eight four. No, they're different numbers. Well, I can't really tell the difference. They, they look identical. Spray the same. Smell the same when you spray it. So. We'll let this dry today. And then we'll start fitting the carpet pad in the carpet. So. Undercoat should help sound deaden some of it. Also help protect it if water leaks in. Alright, so we're going to wrap up this part of the video. At least it'll be a little short today. Um, didn't get a whole lot done. Where we left off, I just showed. Of course, no need to recap because it's all going to be in the same video. Um, here is the carpet. It came in. Um, ordered this from Classic Truck. This was in with the mat. Not sure what that's for. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that... I don't know. possible it could go around the uh, dimmer switch because this has a floor dimmer I'm gonna say that that's probably what it's for cut a hole in the carpet for the dimmer then put this little insert in but I don't know of course there's no cutout for the dimmer. There's a indention that could be for the dimmer. One thing about this pad, it's kind of nice, it does have indentions like this is probably for the seat belt. Um, let's see another one over there. Um, and of course it's formed. You can't really tell from here but the reason it's so lumpy is that um, you know, there's a hump there that should be probably pop that out, and then of course there's a hump here, so this would be more like that. So it's all form fitted, so that's why it won't lay flat. So once it's in the truck with the contours of the floor, it'll lay flat. But I've got it laying out just to kind of help it, because it was rolled up, you know, or folded up in a box when it was shipped. So anyway, it should look pretty nice. That dash pad is just a little bit darker, I think, but uh, that's fine.
on. Close enough. The other color would have been lighter than this, so. Anyway, uh, I don't know how much I'll get done on it tomorrow, but we'll, I'll post up another video on whatever I get done on it tomorrow. Um, it would be nice to get the carpet in, but probably will not want to get the kick panel. I can get the kick panels in without putting the carpet in. Uh, the kick panels don't hold the carpet. Kick panels would go right in here, and this just lays right beside the kick panel. So, um, you know, it's finished edge. So it doesn't tuck under. So I can go ahead and put the kick panels in. I want to get those in. Get that passenger side one sealed up. And I want to check it. Get a water hose and check for leaks. And make sure I got everything sealed up before I put the carpet in. This carpet pad is nice. It's got, of course, it's not a very thick pad, but it's got the pad made onto it. And the um, pad's made onto it, but I also have a pad. I had bought a pad when I thought I was going to use that old carpet. And the pad I bought is thicker than that one. So together, they should um, provide quite a bit of insulation. Of course, then I have the back pad. That pad on there is just for the front. There's no pad on the back. So anyway, thanks for watching.